Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Hey, everybody. Ooh. That's all rise to sing our national anthem. I can find a place to stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early lights what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright star through the perilous Yes. Yes. It's the program here we're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Yes. We're here saying things and living. Yes, you are correct, sir. Are you doing Ed McMahon? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. I'm, I'm Johnny. Here's Johnny. Why are you doing that? Because I felt like saying play ball. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> you wanted to say something else? Because last yeah. time, last time you were here, I said I said something that I didn't like that about not liking the play ball thing, and then you so you had to say something. It's it's okay to say. It's things. That's what we're gonna do here. Is say things. We don't know what we're gonna say next, so sometimes things just uh, get said, and it's kind of confusing. I got some pizza. You got what do you got? Salad, Costco. Salad. From Costco? Yep. Caesar? Yep. Do you like Chicken it? Caesar, yeah, croutons, romaine, grape tomatoes, and uh, parmesan croutons. Yeah, I, d I like it. I like it. Pretty good. How are you? I'm fine. God, not my my tummy's a little rough. Why? I don't know. I don't know. You got some intestinal distress? Something, yeah, I, I think just, uh, you know, just diet, a combination of diet and uh, physical activity and... Coffee? Coffee, maybe, just working too much. You drink, are you staying hydrated? Probably not as well as I should. That'll do it, I and mean, lots of things. I think you're... Yep. Like, That's one, a big part, that, yep. One of the first things in your health to go, to go sour, it could be your... Your energy levels and then your digestion. Oh, yeah. Those are things that you can focus on when you're trying to work on your health. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're kind of connected. You know, if you don't have good digestion, you're not going to have good energy levels. Absolutely. And maybe vice versa. That's uh, true. Thinking about maybe trying to get some exercise. Yeah, what are you, you going to try to do? Mm. Probably just walk half an hour. Yeah, sometimes I think we should uh, have like a segment, exercise segment here on the program. It's like time to do some exercises. Because remember when I was trying to do, <laughs> I was trying to get Carl to do push-ups. No. Well, it was like maybe two years ago when I spent trying to get Carl to do a push-up because he couldn't do a single push-up. Oh. Uh -huh. And I was like, Carl, if you try to do push-ups every day, then eventually you'll be able to do one. Yeah. But he gave up. No. Yeah. Me. But I think maybe it was a little, maybe not nice of me to be pushing him to try to do push-ups. Well, everybody has strengths and weaknesses, you know. Yeah, but if uh, you could well, do, a, if you could do a push-up, or maybe if I did like exercise time and did, you know, eight-minute abs on the program every day, I would have abs, only abs, and no other muscles. Yeah. 
Well, everyone, yeah, that's true. You thought about just walking, though. That's exercise. I walk a lot for more yeah. than more than half an hour. Probably a day. Right. Yeah. So you could get on my exercise program. Okay. Which is just not having a car. Yep. Yeah, that'll do it. When was the last time you were here? Uh, I think sometime last week. Don't remember what day it was? Might have been last weekend. Sunday, maybe? Last Sunday? So today is Sunday. I'm not sure. So maybe you were here last Sunday? Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what happened last Sunday? Do you know what you're doing? I remember we talked a lot about something, but I can't remember what. <laughs> we talked a lot about things? Mm -hmm. Some specific things? Oh, yeah. I heard a quote on the radio by Marie Curie today. Who's that? I think she was a scientist. And it was about science uh -huh. and fear and life. Yeah. That there's nothing to fear about life. And it was a very empowering quote. Well, it's subjective, I guess, but maybe it's, a, I think living without fear is a privilege. Yeah, but maybe it could be something that all humans could um, share in privilege, you know. That'd be nice. But I think fear is real, and there's things to, there are things to fear. Well, there's there's, you know different kinds of fear there's like the fear of breaking your bone by because you're doing something unsafe yeah and so you're gonna restrain yourself and be cautious and prevent injury and then there's the sort of irrational fears of you know being attacked by violent people or you know uh you know their real fears of being attacked by you know bad people people doing bad things so she her her quotes about being not being afraid of bad people no i think it was more about like disease and death and dying and stuff like that i think that's real you can fear that i think that's something to fear yeah yeah i don't and that's why you exercise and maybe eat healthily and you fear discomfort of, of sickness. True. There's nothing you can really do about it, though. Well, I guess you can do, I mean... An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? Yeah. What they say. What, what, what was she talking about? There's nothing to fear. It's so it's vague, I guess. This, this, uh, yeah, I think well, it was kind of like if people really had access to the kind of knowledge that is out there then they would be less fearful of um you know maybe like superstitious things or maybe if education was more widespread there would be less crime less violent crime more economic prosperity if if education was more widespread then there would be less crime mm -hmm. yeah because people would understand that it's not good to hurt other people because we're all interconnected emotionally, <laughs> you spiritually, you're gonna, psychically. You're going to teach people that. That um, sounds like um, kind of militant. I mean, you can definitely teach the whole world specific things and try to keep them from doing doing wrong, but just think people in the home and it's. I think it, it's the, not the education that does it, it's the their home life and things that outside the home or outside the schools that can do this. I was talking about uh, flying cars yesterday. Hmm. And, you know, it would be really nice to have flying cars. But I think that the safety hazards and the regulations behind it would be a total nightmare. And it would be nice maybe if we didn't have cars at all. What if there was no cars? And... Mm -hmm. Maybe we could, I was talking yesterday about taking a break from cars, so maybe it's a society and say, let's all just take a couple days off from cars. 
Kind of like the Ewoks. And it would be fun to do if everybody took it that way. But the only way you could really get it done is that if you set up boundaries and maybe punishments for these kind of things. And that's how you end up getting everybody to do things that you want to do, like education or driving cars or not driving cars and stuff. So it's it's it seems like it would be a good thing to get everybody to do the same thing. But then I think you're kind of walking the fine line between militant... Uh, Militancy and fascism. and fascism and freedom. Yeah. Like it's like educate everybody and educate them in the way that you think they should be educated. Yeah, but that it's more it's about uh, liberal education of uh, just yeah, exposing I, people to knowledge. It's not telling people what to do or what, what to think. What it's knowledge just, though, and 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 who who decides what knowledge is the you know correct math, knowledge? Math. You know, you got algebra and. Geometry and trigonometry and calculus, and, and, and that's going to stop people from violence if you're if you're getting them to you understand math. Humanities, you got social studies, mm-hmm. history. Yeah, who's history though? Who's writing the history books, and who yeah. are you going to teach? And that's a very good question. You should be on the school board, Mr. Kenrick. Well, I'm I'm on my own board. I don't I don't I don't need to be on the school board. I'm above it uh, as a public citizen. I'm the person on the program here, so. But. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if everybody was taught to be a nonviolent person in schools somehow. But it's 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 not something to you can really enforce people to do your will and what you think is the proper education thing system. Not everybody agrees on that. I would like to take this like uh, yesterday. I was talking about having days of so, like society to be like a game, like the no car game. It's like a societal, we're just trying stuff out because we're trying stuff out here on the program. We've moved sideways, we've we've removed some things and and no. changed. I like it. And I changed. like it because you're facing the window now. I like yeah. that. I really like that. It feels more like solid against this back wall. Yeah. And I like. There's something about facing north that I like. I'm facing the light in the window. It is nice. So we've changed some things and. It's like, oh yeah, this is a good change. We're like experimenting, but you can't r- experiment with society. People are set in their ways, and they have the right to be set in their ways. And you can't get like everybody to do the same thing. Because how are you going to do that? How are you going to enforce that? Yeah. Well, people need to live life and have experiences and learn and. Yeah. You know. Peace, peace, love, and understanding. I, I, I'm not too. I'm not afraid of of uh, others. I guess being like, hurt by others. I don't remember the last time I was actually like fearful of other of like, violence from others. But maybe I should be. That's a privilege also to not be afraid of. Well, violence, no, I mean, I guess. you're able-bodied, you know. Yeah. But uh, I don't know who the science person. But you, have you ever? You know, I mean, have you? worried about but getting hit by a car or anything like that i'm not too worried about it i'm out there all the time like yeah. dodging, dodging traffic and you feel safe i feel generally safe if i didn't feel safe i wouldn't be doing it yeah is this anything to do like the science stuff like the march for science yesterday i'm still a little bit disturbed by the march for science yeah because you're disturbed i feel like that they're claiming science as their side, like as a politi- it's like a political movement, as if like the people who, who are ag- they're against don't like science. And I, I don't think that's the case. Like, yeah, nobody nobody is trying to deny science. But what if science says that, for example? Um, something in the way things are today is dangerous and puts people's welfare at risk what 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 the like climate change yeah or um maybe like um certain like pesticides you know or herbicides or mm mm-hmm. Yeah. Toxic stuff, you know. 
and, the, and people are eating too many toxic, toxins and they're getting sick over the long run. Maybe, yeah. But that's... I, I, it's a dangerous... It's having a dangerous effect on the food chain. Mm-hmm. If it was dangerous enough, I don't think that it would be allowed. And uh, the, the effects on the food chain, I don't... I guess I don't think that they're they're real, and I I don't I don't get I don't get it I guess, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think anybody wants to make people sick. The others, nobody wants is like tr- trying to get people sick, and I just don't, I don't no. I don't get it. Nobody wants that. Yeah. You uh, see anything out there in the last twenty four hours? I know we talked to you on the phone a lot yesterday, like for a good while. So I kind of heard your street stories from just yesterday. Yeah. True stories. Anything else just from today, I guess? Mm. Really bad traffic northbound on I-5. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh... Why? Uh, people, it's always bad northbound on Sunday afternoons, uh, going into Seattle. I think probably because of people having, coming back from vacation. People go to Oregon or southern Washington to vacation. Mm-hmm. So. And they drive back to the city in the afternoon. Yeah. So like that all night or is it just during the... It's usually uh, from like, it's usually fine after nine p.m. Yeah, but it can be as it can go as long as like noon to ten p.m. It'll be really bad in the morning again. Monday morning, northbound is is terrible. Were you in that? No, I was going south, mm. so I got to watch it. And is smooth sailing going south? They're always trying to build new roads to get rid of traffic, but then the traffic, the building, the building of the roads causes its own traffic. Yeah, and by the time they're done, they find out that the new constri- new road is still insufficient. But yeah, so they're they're ha- they're having all this traffic because the construction, and when they, yeah, when they're done. They need to start construction up again because by the time they finish with their project, they need to restart. Well, they've been working on that downtown Tacoma Dome area, Highway 16 interchange for years now, years and years and years. And uh, hopefully that's going to be done in 2018. They expect that to be done and Mm. hopefully it'll make things a lot better. It turns to the left. Uh, kind of, kind of against the wall, and then you you take like you can see the Tacoma Dome. You're kind of going around it. That's like the worst traffic spot in yeah from here to Seattle. Yeah, it, it's probably the worst. It's consistent. There's a consistent slowdown there. Is it because of the turn? I would find it maybe. It might be. Uh, I think it's because Highway 16 is a two or a three lane highway, meeting I-5, which is a three or a four lane highway. So you get, you know. Uh, five or seven lanes, depending on how you count it, going into three lanes mm. after they, you know, after they merge. Yeah. So it's um, trying to, it's just a massive bottleneck. What are they, uh, they're, they're trying to fix that somehow? By adding more lanes oh, yeah. or what? They've been working on it for years and years and years. I think they laid some pavement down at one point and then tore it all back up because they felt it wasn't good enough, which is probably a good thing. Um, you know, the last thing you would want is to get done and open it up and have it be broken right away. But So it's probably better that they're taking their time and doing a really good job. Is that years of, of labor to down the tubes? And 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 uh, I don't traffic. Know. 
I mean, I think the big part of it is like laying the foundation, you know, and then you put the pavement on. Um, but they're doing it like top notch, like the best quality road surface available. Mm-hmm. Um, so it should last 50 years. It's pretty amazing that it even exists. So that these like little traffic problems that there's like these roads that are connected everywhere that are basically maintained. I think com- maybe compared to other even states or something, we have a pretty good system. So when we have like little little problems, we get upset about it. Yeah. They should have a better train system though. Yeah. Yeah, they should. Yeah, Europe has uh, really good trains. They have high-speed trains with their own dedicated rail system, you know, so they're not competing with freight. And uh, If we had a, a decent train going from, like, a, to basically go from San Diego to uh, Bellingham. Well, there is Amtrak that does that. Yeah. but The Coast Starlight. It's like $40. It might be a little more than $40. Oh, yeah, if you're going all the way? Yeah, if you're going from San Diego to Bellingham. Mm -hmm. I I think it might even go uh, to Vancouver, B.C. I'm not sure. but It's like $40 to Portland. Yeah. So it's probably like two hundred dollars to go. Probably. I think it depends a lot on the time of year. The rates change depending on how how much demand there is. It's hard. So but yeah. Alright. What's the longest train trip that you've taken? Uh, I went with my family to San Francisco when I was a little kid. Must have been about 1996. Because I remember uh, that the... Oh, it must have been even 94 or 5 because cool. I remember that the Weezer Pinkerton album had just been released. And I had, I just I got it from the store and I listened to it all the way down and all the way back. I was very excited about that album and so... Must have been ninety four. I think that album came out in ninety four. That's so good. It was long. It was a really long uh trip, I remember. Got any more of those sodas? Mm, uh I don't know. where did I get this out? I think it's might be the last one or two. Yeah, maybe I should have I think I saw a box somewhere. Yeah, if you can find one, we'll look around. I've got some salt. You want to drink some salt? Yeah. All right, Brett's got to hop around. We're doing this new way of uh, of the messages from the past. Oh, you found one? What's the last one? Oh, they're... I mean, I, I think they're Freddy's. Maybe... I'll bring him one. I'll bring him. Maybe you can go buy a case. And yeah, I'll, t- I'll trade him <laughs> afterwards. Um, we got. Uh, we're doing this new way of the the background tape now, or not the background tape, the the messages from the past. Where oh, we're uh, taping him every day onto a tape, and just being more casual about it. And it's in the middle of the day, and not at the end of the day, like. It used to be at the end, after the show was over, we'd continue to do things. Yeah, Remember that, that? kind of sucked. It was confusing. So I'd be like, the show's over, done. I want to be done. Yeah, now that's how it is. We reconfigured everything. Did you see our new background tape when we started? I don't know if you noticed. A little bit, yeah. It looks great. So this is... Uh, yeah, this is yes- from yesterday. I'm pretty sure I can say that. I think you are. Uh, bye. Bye. Can you hear um, that? Yeah. All right. We're going to record a new one. This is a message sorry. to the future. I'm sorry. I missed you yesterday. Are you? Yeah. You're here now.
Yeah. Everybody, I, I, I don't know if people have been saying sorry more often than in the past or if I'm just noticing it. But I, everybody is saying sorry all the time. Everybody's so sorry all the time. And it, it is, I'm not, I don't like it. Like, why are you so sorry? Yeah. Like, I don't understand. I don't think people should be so sorry. That's my, maybe I can say that to the future right now. Like this. Why, future, don't be sorry. Be happy. Everything's okay. Hi, future. It's us, the past. Hey, future. How you doing? Hope you're better than we are now. It's Sunday, April 23rd. And, uh, Bert, yeah, hi, Bird. Hey, Kenrick. It's the day, day after Earth Day. Yeah. The, the message from the past is kind of like its own little program within the program where we record this, this this minute segment or something, and then we we don't know what we're gonna say on it. I haven't developed a system, and I don't know if I should. Maybe I should keep it loose like this. Yeah. We're being loose, and we're we're yeah. saying hello to the future. Remember the past. Remember when you were it's young. Cloudy. Remember when you were we were so young, and and uh, the world was our oyster. And in the future, you're losing yeah. more more time of your life. Yeah. yeah, you get older, you become disillusioned. Do you are you illusioned? I'm I'm maybe not when you watch this. All right, uh, bye future. Yeah. yeah, bye. Best wishes. All right, now what I've been doing so far is watching all of them. So let's check these out. These are the messages that we've been recording from the past. Maybe. I don't think this is can't last forever. We can't just watch all of them every day because eventually they're going to be longer than the program. There's going to be too many of them. Hundreds of minutes. Yeah. What episode is this? Twenty four oh nine. Oh, good. Yeah, this is from oh seven. Um. Oh. Wow, you match up. Oh yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, this is from the another day too. So we're gonna rewind the tape all the way and then see what we've been doing for the past like five days or so since we started doing this thing. It's rewinding your yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rooney. I think this is the first one. Well, you. Kind of look cool there. Oh, with the sunglasses, yeah. All right, here it is. Here it goes. Lounging on the couch. Let's say, hey, future. It's it's this day. Uh, it's the 18th or 19th. Seven, eight, nine. So what did we do today? We don't know yet. It's supposed to kind of be like what we did today. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah, that's what the point of why we do it at the end of the show and not at the beginning. Or in the middle, Freddy, uh, because of this whole being back here. But we're Today's we're back the here on the 19th and year in the future. Yeah, maybe we next are. Next year, maybe year further than that. I'm not sure if we decided when April. we're going to be talking to you. But this is the first day that we're doing this. So just remember... April 19th, 2017. But we might have to do this towards the end. Because so far, it's just been talking and a couple of Mr. Ginsu messages. Oh, yeah, messages. All right, bye, future. I'm going to test this out. The audio seems quiet. Oh, yeah, it's loud to me. You got to get headphones. Okay, good. Uh -oh. You can turn it up on the TV. What's that? 72 minute time capsule. So we're doing it. Hi, future. Oh, it take Hi. Over? It's I'm us, not sure. the past. Hi, past. Uh, we're back here. Remember when things were more simple? I do. Times were easier. I remember that. Life was not as complicated. I remember. Uh, there was less you know, carbon in the in the air. Yeah. Probably less people. Can you hear it? And today, Bella is here. Not the really. The intern. Hi. Uh, you have anything to say to the future? Uh, <laughs> I, I hope you're still alive in the future. We are. It's hard to watch it if you're dead. Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah, that's good. It's kind of hard to like be anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Do anything when you're dead. Today we uh, talked about CG animated movies, and uh, what else? That's about it, right? Yeah. Cats. Oh, cats. Oh yeah. Bella doesn't have uh, a good relationship with cats, and I think it's stemming from that she thinks that you don't have a good relationship with them. Oh yeah. And they know. They know that. <laughs> She doesn't so like cats, cycle. and they don't like her, but that's because she doesn't and, like uh, them, and they know. know. You'll, you'll yeah. have a relationship cats with are racists. smart. Maybe it's the same thing. They know. They know that you don't like them. Well, I hope cats Ca- aren't racist. Cats and, ra- cat, or cats and racists. 8 p.m. Uh, is okay, so bye future. outside. Unbelievable. Bye. We're really racing toward the solstice now. All right. Right now. Right hi, now. hi, future. It's us, the past. Hi, past. Hey, I don't know when you're going to watch this. Maybe it's uh, tomorrow or next year or 10 years yeah, down the line. Next but, week. Um, it's definitely not right now. So, hi, future. Hi, Maybe how you we're going to watch this right after we turn this off. <laughs> yeah. But still the past. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about the past and the future and where we sit within the time, the timelines there. So far, yeah. all these messages have just been like, it's the past. We're in the future. We're in the past. Like, yeah, we're asking topic. questions. I don't know what we're going right. to be. We're going to try to turn these messages we into can only a... Respond. Into a, sol- a more solid thing. Not a re- It can't be a recap either. It's just like, what? It's, it's like mess- I don't see why it can't be a recap. What do you mean? It can't be a recap because it's happening early enough in the show where it's not yeah. a recap? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So far. But uh, it's another day. It's, we're it's we are the a mile maybe for the internet viewers and other things. Um... It was a beautiful day on this day in the world, you know. It was so sunny and pretty, and everyone's out and about, and Aww. the trees are flowering, and the sun is shining, and the birds are chirping. It's just a beautiful time in Thurston County. So, I remember that day. Um, that that's sounds a record lovely. of the past for, uh, for today. Oh, yeah, Friday. It's April 21st. Oh, my gosh, that was gorgeous. Maybe you can tell people about what happened, not on the show, but in the world or something. Or like Today's the 23rd. Today like on the news? What? Like on the news or oh, Chinese on the food. Yum, what kind? Yeah, I guess on the news or streets, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to uh, try to give him a feeling of what it's like to be in this day. It was warm. Um, I saw a guy talking to himself on the bus again. Oh, yeah, that happens often. I saw someone uh, riding a bike with no hands. They were using their feet. Their feet were up on the, on the um, bike post. All right. I think this is probably a long enough message to the future. Bye, future. Bye. Peace. Yeah, we don't want to go too long with those. Bye. Say bye to the future, Freddie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Am I say buying? Yeah. bye? Yeah. <laughs> Am I say buying? And then this is, I think, yesterday. This next one. Oh, hey. Oh. It's the message from the past to the future. Hello, future. Hi. It's hey, me. what's up? The past. Hi, past. I'm not the entire past. I'm just me as the past. You're the ghost of our past. Representing what we're doing here. And you know what we're doing here. I do know. We're in the future. Do you remember doing this probably if I'm talking to me in the future? I remember. I'm talking to all of the future. We're not the, I, I'm like looking over here because we have that monitor over there before. It's gone. Uh, what, what's it like in the future? Are you have, do you have flying cars? No. Do you have laser guns? No. Not yet. I do mean, you have not for personal use. Cures? Kinda. A few cures. Do you uh, have uh, peace? No, not that either. Back here in the past. Peace? Peace. Oh. None of those things. Yeah, no. we don't have any of those things. Flying cars, yet. no laser guns, and no peace. But I think that the um, flying cars thing starts to work for peace, we'll have peace. To me. I'm for peace. I just don't. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. Nobody doesn't like peace. Too much. What is peace? Yeah. Room for. Death and crashes if you're flying a car. Those are good peanuts. But that's, I mean, that's not, that's, this is for good program talking, maybe not yeah. the method. Peace nuts. Thanks for being alive. You're welcome. That's one thing I'm pretty sure I can I think that. peanuts could uh, play uh, a role. Bye. In peace. Bye. Bye bye. Not everybody likes peanuts. Future, yeah. don't but be sorry. I'm not. Be happy. Everything's okay. Hi, peace. future. It's us, the past. Hi, past. Hey, future. How you doing? Hope you're better than we are now. I am slightly. It's Sunday, April 23rd. And, uh, Bert, yeah, hi, Bird. Hey, Kenrick. It's, <laughs> it's the day after Earth Day. Yeah. The, the message from the past is kind of like its own little program. 
within the program where we record this, this, this is it like a commercial or something and then we, we yeah, it's don't kind of commercial. say on it. It's what we were following the commercial. Developed a Remember when you were eating that salad system? And I don't know if I should. Maybe I should keep it loose like this. Yeah, yeah it was we're five being minutes loose ago. And we're, we're yeah. saying hello to the future. Remember the past? Remember when you were young? Oh, Remember when you were, we were so young? And, and that was uh, nice. That was so nice when we were young. Like you, oyster. past. And in the future, you're losing yeah. more, more time of your life. Yeah. yeah, you get older, you become disillusioned. I'm more disillusioned than I was back then. You Are you illusioned? I'm, I'm maybe not when you watch this. All right. Uh, bye, future. Bye. Bye. Best wishes. All right. Well, here we are in the present again. Well, we're in the past. Your past. Yeah, but we're currently in the present tense. Yeah. Well, that was that thing. That's what we're doing for that. Um, maybe we could get to the phones now. Sure. Let's see yeah. who's on the phones. Yeah. Is anybody going to call? We did get a, f a few messages. Mr. Ginsu left a ton of messages, and we can call him back because it's or. Yeah, yeah, we could probably call him back. It's a Sunday. I don't know when he sleeps. Maybe we should just try to call him. And we got a voicemail from Freddy. We should call Freddy, probably. Oh, Mr. Kinsu left a lot of messages. We're racking him up. I've been... Blame it on me. Well, I haven't been having time to call him because we're... Uh, changing the studio. We're, we're changing the studio, and we've been doing... Filling up the time. Just I've been... Having more things to say, and we've been doing this past thing, all this stuff. So much. And also, the vegetation outside is really taking off. I don't hear anything. Freddy, what's going on? Is it a silent message, or maybe it's a pocket dial? Where do I barely hear it? Hey. Here's something. Well, the studio feels really nice right now. It's it, it smells good. I like the new orientation. No, I think something's something's wrong with the with the sound. Oh, it's like this. All right, no. That wasn't it. I messed it with something else up now. All right, it's gotta be this one. All right, all right, all right. But it's not working. We haven't used the phones. Maybe we should have used the phones earlier so we can at least tell if things are working or not. Yeah. Yeah. Test because this one has little words on it. Oh, I hear it's just really quiet. Maybe it's the internet. The volume on your machine looks like it's turned down there. No. Try turning it up on your iPod. Thank you. Was that you? I wonder. Still wondering if you have any earlier. Um, oh, is this you now? Oh no, no. Yeah. Recording sessions. It's late. That's that's uh. Sorry to be so annoying. And I got confused. And I thought this was uh you currently. Bye. I got it working now. Now we can hear this message. Okay, maybe. Have there been any new guests recently? No. I think this is a pocket dial, actually, though. Uh-oh, well, we don't want to overhear something that's private. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All right, that's a pocket dial from Freddy. Who's calling back? Are you off the popcorn kick? Yeah, I just have the machine is somewhere. Since we moved yeah. around, I haven't done it. You haven't reset your yeah. popcorn setup. I guess I bought these other snacks because I the peanuts. I forgot why I haven't yeah. been eating the um, popcorn, and it's it's only because it's moved. I would do one. I, w I would eat the popcorn. I guess I was getting a little tired of popcorn. 
Ooh, it's starting to get dark outside and it's 7.53 p.m. Peanuts, anything too much will make you sick if you just keep eating the same thing over and over forever. Leave your message for Frederick Dobler. Hey, Freddy, oh. it's the program. Hello, Mr. Frederick. Hi, 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 hi. How's the production end going? You can call us back. You have about 15 minutes to call us back today. Thank you. That was a cool voicemail. It said his voice, but it was a computer, wasn't it? Mm, no, it was like it was like the thing where you say your name instead of the whole message. So it just says, oh. "You have a voice mailbox from Fatty Dobo." So then, you know, it's his name. But I thought it was a female voice, like a computer. No, it, it was his actual voice, but it was oh. like everything leading up to it was the other, and it's kind of like the Dan Dobler message, you know? Yeah. You have reached the voice mailbox of Dan Dobler. Yeah, but that's definitely a, a human voice, not a computerized voice. Mm, no, it's or the, the the thing where it says Dan Dobler it is, but Fre it's the same as Freddy's one that we just listened to. Hey Siri, what's my name? Robert, that's what you told me. Anyway. <laughs> I know, huh? Okay, corn holes. Where the fuck did my TV remote go? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I knew. God damn. It. So easy to lose those things. Gotta be right around here somewhere. Anyway, I was sitting here reading the little nickel. In the little nickel, it's got this thing that says, Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? And they call that 1 Corinthians 15.55. Reading the Bible? The answer is, my friend's friend has a son that died. The mom, son died, in a motorcycle accident. Oh. And now the sting is, she's still crying, and it stings, and it's a fucked up feel that she lost her son, and everything she looks at reminds her of him. Okay, and there's your answer to your fucked up question, First Corinthians, and all the Christians that would look at something of that nature. So I just thought I'd let you know what the answer to your bitch question is. Okay, hope that been helpful. Well, the Bible asked a question, and Mr. Ginsburg answering. Mr. In yes, Mr. Ginsu has the answers. I he didn't, is a spiritual man. I didn't quite understand the he's whole religious. message. He was. He's, he's telling it like it is, straight from the Bible. Yeah, he has a lot of uh, issues with the Bible. Yeah, he's. He might be considered to be kind of, you know, mischievous. Can he don't what? make me come down there and kick in Carl Tennant. Oh. Uh oh. Ain't that right, Freddy? Uh, oh, that's bad. Right, bird? That's you. You're, bad, you, 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 you. you're a bad talker, Mr. Ginsu. You Yellow fellow. Things. Inappropriate. Tell Kenny to give me a call for I have to come down there. He wants a call, that's for he sure. He knows you. All right, let's he, call him back. He 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 left a ton of more messages, but he he had a message straight there for Yellow Fellow. We don't have enough um, time to listen to all those messages if we try to call yeah. him. Has Yellow Fellow called recently? Um, I think it's uh, been maybe two days or so. Yeah, oh, that's recent. Yeah. Two days is definitely recent. Yeah. Like a week is somewhat recent. Two weeks is kind of borderline. Month is like. On the border of like definitely not recent, but depends on circumstances. 
more than a month and it's probably like, yeah, that's old news. Got a new fog machine? It's an old hello? Fine, I'll get up and fucking goddamn smoke a cigarette or What? Are we waking you up? You're in bed? What? I thought you quit smoking. Of course I'm going to bed. It's fucking time to go to bed so I can get up and fuck go to work. Yeah, what time do you get up? Three? Four, thirty, or five. Oh, well, it's only eight right now. Yeah, well, I need eight fucking hours of sleep. That's true. For fucking... Yeah, it's, it's not even... Nine hours. I, I like, like nine hours of sleep. It's not even dark out. Yeah, me too. I hear you. Yeah, me too. I agree. Once I go to sleep, don't wake me up for nine hours. And the worst part is, I got this neighbor with a loud exhaust. Yeah. And he starts his fucking car up like an hour before I get up. At like, and at like 3 a.m.? He lets it run for 15 fucking minutes before he fucking gets in his car. What a fucker. Why? Because he's an asshole. Car, some cars will stall if they're not warmed up enough. Yeah, his is just louder than fuck. Have you said anything about it to him? No. Maybe you could. Yeah, that... Uh, Communication. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ask oh, him to park it down I, the block I could, I could or tell you a story, but it would make you cringe. Uh-oh. Well, um... Yeah, what's it about? I, I, I swear it would, probably. Yeah, what's the story about? Yeah, I can't, I don't know, I, I want to I hear the story anyway, if you brought it up. You want to hear it now, or you don't want to hear it? I guess I want to hear it. I, I want to know. know. I Maybe I'm going to regret it. I, it's about. I, I can't really story. tell it to you because, well, I guess I could. Okay, so I walked to the fucking store before, whenever I was crippled. Uh-huh. And um, let's just, well, I guess I'll just tell it to you because fucking it happened and it ain't my fucking fault. Okay. So I walked to the store. I get this pop. So I come walking home. At my slow pace that I was whenever I was crippled. Yeah, it's all relative. So the neighbor was standing out there. We'll be the judge of that. Pardon? Oh, nothing. I'm just yep. listening to you. So anyway, the neighbor was standing out the there. The loud car? In front of a fucking lawnmower. Okay. Okay. Did he try so to run I you down? He just stand there like freaking uh, whatever. I'm like, I thought thing didn't run, and I guess I stood there for a second or two, and then shook my head and walked away. Uh huh. And I was telling myself, I'm not a lawnmower mechanic. If it was a, me a car, I, I would maybe tell him to push the button or something, but I just didn't even want to get involved with it, so. I was I was in a bad mood and fucking I was hurting. Yeah. So I turned my head, walked away, and the neighbor bitch fucking started yelling across the street. Hey, you! What are you looking at? Did he pull out a pistol and fire it? Not talking about you. <laughs> He's talking to you. And so I just kept a walking, and so she says, "Hey, you! I'm talking to you. What are you looking at?" I said, shut the fuck up. Uh, okay. So a couple of days, well, we had a little bit more of a conversation. I said, well, sorry I cut you or whatever, but you, you, whatever, you know. Uh, okay. You're sitting here yelling across the street and shit. Yeah. So a couple of days later, I hear from one of my other neighbors that I hate black people. Oh, was she black, the neighbor? Uh, no, oh. but he is. The one that you didn't help with the lawnmower? That's right. Uh-huh. So, yeah, so I heard that I hate black people. That's so crazy. He, so now, I don't, but whatever, man. It's what, once it's like they start slandering you and fucking yeah. whatever, if I can fuck well, that's, them, that's not good. I don't give a fuck. Except for now, his exhaust is loud, and 
he don't know how to fix it or he won't fix it. Uh-huh. Oh, it's because she because she's a kind. I don't want to help them out. You know how, how expensive is it to fix it? They're inter, they're an interracial couple. I would suppose maybe I don't want to slander no one, but I would guess. Well, that's okay. That's not slander to be an interracial couple. Well, they started to slander, and well, I don't we're all one human off. family anyway. Yeah. That's yeah, that's not good to be accused of racism. But so they he thinks you're a racist, so that, now you can't really communicate with him. Yeah, so I don't want to communicate. Well, especially because all you're gonna do is say, "Hey, stop that!" And, and then he right. Exactly. Yeah. And then what, what am I gonna be? I'm gonna be some sort of hey, asshole again. Bake yeah. him so some fucking whatever. Man. Bake him some cookies or some brownies, and then tell him that his car's loud. And then just say, "Hey, you know, I just want to be a good neighbor." And you know, at one point I, I went over there man. and tried giving them some weed, and the little bastard said, "No, I, we don't smoke weed around here." Oh, really? But except for the fact that one of the neighbors, I was at a house, let's say, and um, the guy was like smoking weed. Yeah. There. Oh, that was that was like a previous person that lived there. Okay. So well, maybe you could. Uh, except for. You the know. day that I took the weed, the day I took the weed there, uh huh. There's a fuck cop sitting right down the fucking road. What it, the hell? And was that before or after 2012? It was uh, before, slightly a couple, a few weeks before pot became well, legal. Uh, well, <laughs> Mr. Ginsu, I think you should fix his exhaust for him. Oh fuck no! Well, that would get a, get a I, roll of duct tape. I really should. I really should. But fucking, I don't even want to get involved with them people. But it would solve your problem, and it would be nice. Well, yes and no. Assholes are assholes, and fucking. If I fix his car, if I fix his exhaust, his car will blow up, and then he'll just go get another loud car or something. It'll blow up. Right. Oh yeah. As soon as you fucking start fixing them old fucking things like that, uh, I think I'll just tell the fucking people at the manager or something and say fuck. Oh yeah. And uh, make them fix his car. Yeah, that you could do that, but that's like um, I think direct communication is better than going through the authorities. That's like the authorities. Oh hell no. Hell no! Not, yeah, start not, a conversation. Not after they say that I hate black people. Yeah, that's it's hard to get. Uh, it's hard to lose that once you've been accused of of something like that. It's hard to get out of that. It, yeah. Well, it, yeah, you would think, you'd think, and I think the same thing. And I'm like, fuck it. I don't even want to deal with it except yeah. for the fucking people get so fucking loud. What kind of car is it? It's just so fucking loud, man. Huh? What kind of car is it? I don't fucking know. I don't care. You haven't never, seen it? Never cared. Have you yeah, seen the car? That's right. Anyway, that's my fucking story. Oh, yeah. And I cringe every time I fucking think about that's it. That's a bad story, yeah. <laughs> totally understandable. Well, it's not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you, yeah. It's, it's, that's tough. It's, you can't win for losing. You can't really win. Yeah. There ain't no win. But that's not a fun... It's not fun to to live in a combative environment if they're your neighbors. No. Like, yeah, and they're supposed to. I think I think they're supposed to upkeep their vehicle to where it's not so fucking loud, and you're not supposed to make that much fucking noise. It can be yeah. heard over fifty feet. Yeah, but if, um, before eight before eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's like the rules, yeah, though. And it, I think it's six o'clock is the rule. Yeah, and they're breaking the fucking rules. It shouldn't quiet, be quiet hours are typically ten p.m. to six a.m. It shouldn't be about the rules, though. It should be just about being neighborly and and communication. Yeah, and fix your fucking car if your fucking car is louder than motherfucker. But like, once you start enforcing rules, then the people just get upset about it. And what are you gonna like punish them for not enforcing going towards the rules, or are you gonna pay a fine? Like, it's better to just uh, be... They, they can kick them out of the fucking park. I guess they could, but they're going to be upset forever. It's better to just say, like, this is causing me an issue, and I'd like to... Maybe we could resolve it without having to result, uh, resort to... Well, if I have to live here for a fucking long time, I don't want it to 
stay this way. Yeah, so maybe you should communicate better because if you if it stays this no, way. No, I'm not going to fucking talk to them. I already told you. They say I hate black people and they can fuck off. I think you could. Well, I, think I mean, I think you should be nice because if you're not nice, then it's going to look like you really do hate black people, which uh, yeah. it, it may be oh, possible fuck. that you do. I, I don't. The thing is. You're saying that thing, number? I don't, that's not nice to say. I, I think Mr. Gensu like, is. Tolerant. I don't like the white bitch that the black dude lives with. Yeah. Okay. You don't like people, Mr. Gensu. That's Gensu. the real truth. The did real she, truth did she accuse you? Did she accuse you of racism or was it him? Because. I have a feeling that she. No, it was, it was. She accused me. That's what my neighbor yeah, said. Yeah, I have a feeling that she is like, uh, that you know, since she's dating a black guy, that she's like, feeling the power of minority status, and she can be like, so I, I can call people racist yeah. now because I got a black boyfriend, like, right? I suppose that must be the way it is. She she's told like, her son that. She's like too, waiting. She's waiting day, for her chance. She's all high and mighty. For being in an interracial the relationship. The day it happened, her son came out of the house and called me an asshole. Oh. And then he got in his car and left. That's horrible. That's not a, that is an uncomfortable environment to be living in. I think you should resolve it. No. I don't care. Yeah, well, they're going to, I mean. I am, an, I am an asshole. The only thing they got wrong is I don't hate black people. Yeah, if I thought I was living next to a racist, I would be maybe actively upset about it and like and thinking bad thoughts and maybe doing bad things to them not i mean not like in like really horrible things but i would definitely wouldn't be caring about them anymore so i think you should talk to them or they're gonna start those kids when they're like they're gonna like graffiti your house or something uh they wouldn't touch my house <laughs> yeah well if you're they be stupid if they think much. if they think you're the neighborhood racist though that's like not a good thing to be i would try to resolve that if i were you Oh, well, I don't care. Yeah, well, maybe you should. If you want to get hurt, fuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm exactly. with the Punisher. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's just a bad path. That's a bad path, though. I think. I'll hurt you. That's yeah. To fuck with but me. This, yeah. all these things, the, this it's nothing that communication cannot solve. Yeah. Remember that you are the other. Well, well, then why did they fucking take my girlfriend away from me and not let me communicate with her? Well, that's, I mean, yeah, that could have been solved with communication also. So maybe this is another situation. Yeah, they could have taught me how to communicate back a long fucking time ago, but they said yeah. communication. I, mean, that, I don't know if that's exactly and how so it I is. I don't believe them. The communication is very fucking bad. That was then, and this is now, and this is... Uh, that like, might, may not be an entirely no, realistic then, uh, view. Of there wasn't communication back then, and now you, could, you have a, a, a new chance to communicate when you could uh, get like resolve things now, like and you couldn't have another situation like the girlfriend thing. But the show's over; the timer went off. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it did. Yeah. Disconnection hey, with reality. Hey, thanks for talking to us. Uh, good night. You can go back to sleep now. All right. I'll talk to you next week. All Sweet right. dreams. Good Mr. night, Mr. Ginsu. Sleep good night. well. Have a good. Sleep yeah. well. Ah, uh, don't be. Uh, All right. Well, there. Are we done? We're done. Well, we gotta do the. We're gonna do this outro thing. The commercial? No, just outro. So, oh, are we still recording on the? We are. Oh, so we're not done? Nope. Okay. It's this now. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, whoa. Whoa. What kind of fish is that? Halibut. You can watch. We're on TCTV at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Wow. or online. Hey, Check it gosh. out. Fancy. 360 364 Call and leave a message. Get on TV. Wow. Where's that? Uh, 836-4384. You can be on TV. That's our address. That's where we are. Find yeah, us. Number three. That's the real thing. Graham Graham. It's a good song. Yeah. Hey, TCTV, LeBebe, Jordi E. Fabos, hey. Graham Graham, SomethingSpot.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, How USA, thank you. Viewers, it's you, you're watching, thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.